Kyoto Kiyomizudera Walking and Eating 14 Recommended Stores Samurai Junjiro Channel Hi, I'm Akane Maru, born and raised in Japan. In this video, we will eat around Kiyomizudera. We will introduce 14 stores, including dishes that are popular on SNS and dishes from traditional restaurants. There will also be special drinks available only here in the world, so don't miss out. Now, let's get started! We are now at Kyoto Station. It takes about 2 hours and 10 minutes from Tokyo Station to Kyoto Station by bullet train. From Shin Osaka to Kyoto Station is close, so we recommend taking the train instead of the bullet train. It takes about 25 minutes by train. Then let's head for our destination, Kiyomizudera. The most common way to get to Kiyomizudera from Kyoto Station is to take a bus. Get off at Gojozaka bus stop. However, it is recommended to take a cab since there are several bus routes and it is difficult to get there by bus. From Gojozaka bus stop, it takes about 10 minutes by foot to get to Kiyomizudera. This is Kiyomizudera, which is the most popular sightseeing spot in Kyoto. Kiyomizudera is a World Heritage Site and is visited by more than 5 million people a year. We introduced this place in our Kyoto video uploaded last December. We introduced 8 stores, including a special Starbucks that is the only one in the world. In this video, we will introduce 14 stores that we were not able to introduce in the previous video. We also introduced other sightseeing spots in Kyoto in our previous video, so if you haven't seen it yet, please check it out. Well, we will be eating and walking around Kiyomizudera. First of all, we would like to introduce this restaurant, Mizuiro Tei. It is a popular restaurant that has been introduced on many SNS. There are a variety of dishes available, but this is the one we will eat this time. This is a minced meat cutlet. The size is large, so it is very satisfying. The coarse breadcrumbs give it a nice crispy texture. There is a lot of cheese inside. The cheese is melting, so it tastes rich and thick. The minced meat itself is succulent. There are three other types of fried dishes, so be sure to give it a try. Next, we introduce this store, Kyo Yasaka Pudding. It is a pudding specialty store that opened in 2019. It is a popular store often introduced on TV. There are six kinds of pudding alone available in this store. The one we will be eating this time is Kyo Yasaka Pudding, which is also the name of the store. There are two layers of flavors in this pudding in a jar. It is a lovely looking pudding. The top layer is honey lemon flavored jelly. The round shape is mango flavored jelly. The fresh taste of lemon and the sweetness of mango go well together. The bottom layer of pudding is filled with vanilla beans, which gives it a nice smell. It has a natural sweetness of eggs and milk. It may look pretty, but the taste is authentic. Next is this store, Chigiria. This restaurant opened in 2017. They offer steamed meat dumplings and deep fried octopus paste as the dishes. This time, we decided to go with freshly baked steamed meat dumplings. Let's have it with ponzu, which is a combination of soy sauce and citrus juices. They use Kyoto pork produced in Kyoto for this steamed meat dumpling. The meat is tender and sweet. 
It has the sweetness of onions and the flavor of shiitake mushrooms. We also recommend eating it with Japanese mustard, karashi. The spiciness has increased and the taste has tightened up. The size of the dish is large, so it is very satisfying. Next, we will introduce this restaurant, Gekka Beijing. This is a restaurant where many people come to eat dishes that are popular on SNS. This is the Mitarashi Dango. It is a baked mochi topped with a soy sauce based sauce. The mochi has a nice smell of soy sauce. The mochi has a nice chewy texture. The sweet and spicy taste is addictive. Next, we will introduce you to a pickle specialty store, Doi Shibazuke Honpo. In Kyoto, Pickles are very popular because of the abundance of quality vegetables and beautiful water. There are various pickles on sale, but the one we will be eating is cucumber on a skewer, which is perfect for eating and walking around. It is dipped in Japanese soup stock and sesame oil, which gives it a nice smell. It is pickled with chili peppers, so it has a nice spicy flavor. The crunchy texture is nice. Next, we will introduce this store, Matcha Do. This store opened in 2021 and specializes in matcha sweets. It also sells souvenirs and other items made from matcha. This time, we will eat the most popular matcha ice cream. They use high-grade Uji Matcha produced in Uji City, Kyoto Prefecture for this ice cream. It has a fresh smell of tea leaves. It has a moderate bitterness but also has a full-bodied flavor. The sweetness is moderate and sophisticated. Happy to see it comes with a snack that has a matcha cream in it. It's sweet and goes well with the ice cream. Next, we will introduce this restaurant, Bai San Do. It is a popular restaurant where you can enjoy deep fried fish paste. It is located right in front of the entrance of Kiyomizudera, so it is very easy to find. This time, we will introduce this most popular dish. Let's eat it hot and freshly fried. This dish is made by wrapping yuba round fish paste and deep fried. The yuba is crunchy and has a nice texture. The fish paste is sweet and plump. There is cheese inside. The cheese is creamy and melted. The size is not too big, so it is good for eating and walking around. Next, we will introduce this store, Tamago Para. This store specializes in sweets using eggs and is crowded with many people. Pudding is also popular, but this time we will introduce this drink. Just put a cherry on top and it is ready to go. This is a cream soda with egg ice cream. It looks cute and is very popular on SNS. The soda tastes like melon and has a sweet taste. The cherries are sweet because they are dipped in sugar syrup. The ice cream is made with high-quality eggs from Kyoto. It has a rich yolk taste. The natural sweetness of the egg and milk gives a refreshing aftertaste. Next, we will introduce this restaurant, Kirakuan Okamoto. In a previous video, we introduced this restaurant and that was croquette made with Kobe beef. This time, we would like to introduce a food that is as popular as croquettes. That is the Maikohan Yaki. It is shaped like Maiko who entertains guests as banquets in Kyoto. The dough is thin and crispy with a cookie-like texture. There are three flavors to choose from, but this time we chose red bean paste. 
The sweetness and the bean's mushy texture are good. The shape is pretty, but the taste is authentic. Next is this store, Kyo Sampo. This is a store where you can eat Japanese sweets, and the store is cool because it has a historical atmosphere. The restaurant can also be eaten on tatami mats inside the restaurant. There are various menus, but what we would like to introduce here are these dumplings. This tube is filled with mitawashi dango and topped with matcha. This sweet is a hot topic on SNS because of its pretty appearance. Let's eat it with plenty of matcha powder. The sweet and salty taste of mitarashi goes well with the bitterness of matcha green tea. The matcha flavor is refreshing. It is a taste that reminds me of Japan. Next, we will introduce this store, Cafe Otowa. It is a popular cafe opened in 2016. Although dishes using Kyoto products are popular, but we will be eating this dish, which is recommended by the restaurant. This is the Kiyomizu Dog, a Japanese version of the French hot dog. It's sausage wrapped in a fluffy baguette. It is seasoned with ketchup and mustard, so we like the fresh acidity of the tomatoes and the spiciness of mustard. The sausage is meaty and succulent. The size of the sausage is large and satisfying. Next, we would like to introduce this store, Hisaya Cafe. This cafe opened in 2019, and roasted chestnuts are very popular. There are a wide variety of sweets using chestnuts, but this is the one we will be eating this time. This is daifuku, which is chestnuts wrapped in a mochi. Daifuku is a classic Japanese sweet. The mochi has a nice chewy texture. Inside is whipped cream, white bean paste, and chestnuts. The chestnuts are moist and sweet. The melt in your mouth texture is addictive. Next, we would like to introduce you to this store, Goncha. There are more than 1,800 popular cafes around the world, but this is the only one with the Japanese style retro exterior. Let's try a drink that is exclusive to this store. It's a combination of high-grade uji matcha and milk. There's a bitterness from the matcha, but it's also sweet because it's mixed with milk. There's a refreshing flavor of matcha, and it tastes sophisticated. The drink with kuromitsu is also available only at this store, so be sure to try it. The last store we will introduce is this store, Mori Tokikan. It is a popular go-to store that offers fried fish surimi and other dishes. This time, we will eat a Chinese steamed bun. We chose the Chinese bun with Kyoto beef from among five varieties. The freshly steamed dough is fluffy and moist. Inside is Kyoto beef cooked in soy sauce and sugar, carrots, and burdock. The fat from the meat soaks into the vegetables and is delicious. The vegetables have a nice crunchy texture. The rich seasoning is very addictive. If there's any restaurant you'd like us to introduce, let us know in the comments. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Well, that's all for today. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.